welcome loyalty squad this is the velvet locks coming back to you again okay <laughs> excuse my look but i figured since i'm getting ready to go out let me do a get ready with me video because uh this was requested before i haven't done it because yeah i haven't been really feeling like putting on makeup and all that other stuff lately since this whole corona thing and when you work from home yeah you don't really wear a lot of makeup anymore unless i'm getting ready to do a video for you guys so i might like dolly up a little something something but let me move you back a little bit but yeah so i decided to do a get ready with me video put on a little everyday makeup look because i got some things to take care of you know but yeah um i wanted to pretty much touch bases with you guys just uh pretty much i guess you can say talking about 2020 and I know a lot of you share the same thoughts as I feel right now as far as can't wait to see it leave okay I'm gonna be looking away from the camera at times because as you can see I'm doing my makeup but yeah I am so sick and tired of this year this year and I'm sure a lot of you went through some things this year whether it be job losses, losing relatives or significant others, you know, relationships. There's just been so much going on this year. So much heartache, so much craziness, and also blessings, okay? Now, 2020 was an emotional roller coaster. That's what it feels like. A daggone emotional roller coaster because well, yeah, certain things, things that I wanted to happen this year didn't happen yet. Like my mood. If you've been rocking with me a while you know that i'm in the process of relocating and my thoughts and dreams are to move out of new york okay my reasons for it new york has just gotten so much congested and 2020 it just seems like it got worse one of my reasons looking forward getting out of 2020 is i don't want to hear no more bad news i'm just so sick and tired of the the bad news I'm sick and tired of the things that's going on in Congress the person that's uh, renting the White House right now I'm just so sick and tired of everything that this year had to offer all right now some of my craziness that happened this year was I got into three car accidents okay or not even car accidents I would say I got into three doggone fender benders. Three. And honestly, I truly believe people in New York, I don't know where it is, how it is in your part of town, but people in New York really don't care. They either drive too slow, too fast, or just not paying attention at all. Now, the first accident I had was in the beginning of the year year and I would say somewhere like about maybe January 20 the beginning of the doggone year I got into a fender bender that I tell you just out of impatience this person came out of nowhere from behind me and as I'm making my left turn onto a main street this person decided to go around me on the turning side okay he went into ongoing traffic lane just to be able to get around me before I made my left turn and hit me on my left side okay so that was the first accident and it took about four hours no joke four hours for the police department to come and investigate the accident during that time this young dude who seemed like he was high when he was driving because his car was more damaged than mine but um, if his car was able to move he would have he would have bolted out of there because um, he seemed like he was trying to get it to move and it wouldn't because his, his wheels was locked. Okay, so he really damaged his wheels. I took pictures and everything and he tried to get his friend to come. I don't know what their intentions were at the time, but I took pictures. So regardless of what, he couldn't go anywhere. I took a video recording of him the whole night. But that was the first accident. Got my car fixed, everything, and kid you not, January, February, March, about March of this year, again, in the height of Corona, 
March or April, I got into another accident, all right? And I was on my way home. It was me and my daughter. And out of nowhere in the side street, this dude ran the stop sign. He claimed he couldn't stop. Ran the stop sign, came out of nowhere, hit me on the same side that I got hit in the beginning of the year. Okay? On my driver's side. Same side. Now this time it was different because it was two little young dudes in a raggedy car and they claimed they had no brakes. Why do you have the car on the road if you have no brakes? He had transp transporter plates on the back of the car from Florida. The car was raggedy and it shouldn't even have been on the road. He gave a million and one excuses as to why he was on the road. The car wasn't even licensed, insured or anything. Do you know them two little jokers after even me recording them and taking pictures in the whole nine? They picked up their bumper that was on the ground, put it in their car, got in their car and bolted out of there. So that was a hit and run. That was a hit and run. So that was on a side street and I ended up getting my vehicle fixed. Okay. But, but mind you, now I'm like really paranoid at this point because I got into two accidents months behind each other. Okay. Then on top of that, I would say just last week. No last week it's been about 10 days now about 10 days now coming out of the shopping area I get into another accident in traffic <laughs> this time the gentleman was trying to be a nasty behind he wasn't trying to let me squeeze in and in doing so his bumper just rubbed off some paint or some rubber on my white truck and that was it that i could buff out that's nothing so i tell you my 2020 was not the greatest because i got into three accidents in this year another thing that i guess you could say I, i'm just so sick and tired of 2020 is all of the bad news that's going on all over the country okay with this is a pandemic then on top of that all the people that have died i mean i even know a few people who has family members who passed from this this virus and it's just been really a hard year for a lot of people who have family and friends that passed another thing that i tell you i cannot wait for this year to be over with is new beginnings okay new beginnings I am so looking forward to my new beginning because with all the craziness that took place the pandemic the lack of jobs people going through so much people suffering a lot of stores closed a lot of homes for sale people moving out of New York you know it's just gotten very expensive and with the amount of money that I make now, I could be someplace a whole lot more comfortable and get more for my money. That's one of the reasons why I, I decided that I want to leave New York. More quality of living outside of New York. But 2020 really has been a depressing year. Now, as far as finances, I could say it did not affect me, okay? It did not affect me at all because... I retired from owning a daycare just in time before all of this craziness took place. And I thank God for that because if I didn't do it at the time when I did, I would have been caught up with a whole lot of stuff. Financial burdens, hardships. But 2020 was not a very pleasant year for a lot of people. Disappointments. You know, you're ready to, to, to make that move and change. But still, there's things holding you back. There's you know? blessings that you haven't gotten yet that you're still waiting to come in to flourishing. And it hasn't yet. And it's tied to New York. 2021, your girl will be moving. I decided to wait until the springtime and start looking around. But now, I'm getting ready to upload some narcissist videos on this channel. I've gotten so many responses from those videos and so many of you going through that went through that same thing that I decided that I'm going to re-upload those videos over on this channel. 
I have to do some editing of them because they got demonetized on my Velvet, Velvet Locks channel. Okay, now I don't know if YouTube is very sensitive about using the word narcissist, but yeah, they demonetize all of those videos. So I think it's because of certain words that I may have to change. So I'm going to try that and see if maybe that's a go over here. And I have some updates on that situation as well that I wanted to start sharing with you guys. Especially for those of you who are going through that, who have went through that, still may have questions or need help in how to avoid those types of people. I have more videos coming that's going to help you. For those of you who are wondering how to put on lashes, well, I'm sure you probably already know how to put on lashes, but I've been experimenting with a lot of these lash glues, and I tell you, this is not a part of the video, but if you've seen any of these infomercials on Instagram about this powerful, look at that, this powerful lash liner. That's supposed to be working so wonderful and it's supposed to be in a pen do not buy this crap do not buy this crap I got suckered in I've been getting suckered in a lot by my Instagram um, finds mm, you just would not even know Instagram has been really suckering me because they put on these wonderful uh, commercials or advertisements for different types of products that you would think actually work because of the way in which they do it but it's always a bust and then poor quality it's just a waste of money I've wasted so much money on Instagram it's a shame from Instagram and it just seems like a lot of this stuff are Chinese products but listen this year was not a good look for a lot of a lot of us. It's really sad. It's sad. And I tell you, this, this, this holiday season just does not seem very cheerful. There's so much still to be merry about. You know, and God blesses you with the, another day to, to live. That's still something to be grateful for. You may not have the things that you wish you can, you can, like, purchase right now. For those of you who are going through it this Christmas and financially can't afford certain things to bless your family with listen as long as you can put a meal on that table or get a meal if you can and enjoy each other if you got games you can play you can play games it doesn't necessarily have to be a big grandioso celebration for Christmas it doesn't have to be this big thing about opening gifts it could just be you intimately being with your family and enjoying each other's company okay because honestly this year it just doesn't seem like with so much going on I don't even understand why people are still shopping like everything is normal everything is not normal and this country is still going through a lot of suffering and so many people are going through just a lot of lack hardships and it just seems like a rub in the face and there's so many people that can't even afford even a plate on their table and then the, the rest is out here blowing money in excess for no reason I can't say us because I ain't a part, 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 that, part of that group. But it just seems like a sin, in a sense, to be spending so much money unnecessarily. And I know a lot of you are probably like, where you going with lipstick velvet? <laughs> Listen, with masks, I wear my matted lipstick. Because it does not run off on the mask. My facial mis makeup may, but my lips, no. Excuse me. But yeah, you guys, I just wanted to actually just share some thoughts regarding this year. And I tell you, it's so weird though because what I used to do before, I was making big bank. Okay? Big bank. Anyone in childcare knows the, the opportunity of making a lot of money is there. And with what I'm doing now, being a full time YouTuber, I never thought that I'd be able to do anything and, and be good. 
you know and be good there's so many opportunities we just have to seek out for them for those of those of you who may be going through some stuff financially don't have that income coming in the way you would like it to there's still so many opportunities up out there that you can actually make money and I've seen the hustlers like crazy out here in New York so I know that if you can make it in New York doing this, you could probably make it someplace else doing it. But a lot of the hustle games that I see going on, and it's not even games. People have been reinventing themselves. You have to reinvent yourself when it comes to changes like this. Especially when it hits your family hard financially. There's so many, many other ways of making an income. Oh, I haven't been doing any updates on my hair journey, my hair growth journey, but as you can see, my hair has definitely been filling in on this side. This side used to be completely bald, okay? And if you wanna know what I've been using to grow my hair back, my, especially my edges, let me know down below and I'll do a video on that just to give y'all an update on that. But yeah, y'all, I can't wait for 2020 to go. Honestly, it's been something else. It's been really a struggle this year. And not even financially, because God, God has definitely been providing for this family. You know, also, a blessing that came out of this year is the fact that I'm going to be a Jima. Okay? I'm going to be a Jima. So, this blessings that came out of this year, but a lot of sadness and hardship for so many people. But yeah, y'all, this is my look for the day. Okay? My running around and running the streets look for today. Alright, just a simple ponytail which I haven't done in a, a while. But yeah, this this year really, it's been good and bad. It's been good and bad. The worst part of this year is the fact that a lot of our freedom has been taken away. And it's due to the pandemic, to, due to the fact that there's so much shutdown going on everywhere, places you really can't go, things you can't do, you can't live the way you used to live. We're breathing in our own carbon monoxide, but it's for our own benefit in a sense. Um, protecting ourselves and that's another thing that came out of this year the fact that my family and I have made it through and still making it through without being sick without being infected without coming down with anything like that because if you were or on my other channel during the time of the pandemic you have seen how crazy I was going with a lot of things to boost up your immune system and to keep your body healthy so that if you do catch a cold immune issues regarding the virus that you're able to fight it off okay boosting your body up so I thank God that that has been a covering over this family that you know none of us got sick even my, my daughter and her husband out in Connecticut, none of them got sick. Thank goodness for that. So God has definitely been blessing us with health. And in our finances, there hasn't been much of a bump because the blood stain was over the post. So that did not come on this house. It did not come nigh thy dwelling. So even like my, my children financially hasn't been affected. Thank goodness for that. As well as my home. One job. I decided to retire from and I decided to go full-time on this channel in this career and it's been it's been good it happened at the right time because honestly if I was still doing what I was doing doing daycare during that time it would have been a very big hardship a serious hardship so everything moved and happened at the right time and I thank God for that but yeah three car accidents in one year was not a good look Okay, but it's just the whole idea that this year has really been something crazy and I would say emotionally crazy for the most part. It didn't hit us financially. It didn't hit us with any types of hardships, but it was just an emotional roller coaster. So much emotional stuff that went on this year that just had everybody all twisted and knotted up. Then with the election, oh my gosh, I can't even go for it to listen. That alone is another video. But the separation and division of this country, even more than before, because of the person that was in charge, he just exposed a lot of hatred that was still there. And it's just crazy. We don't know where we're going anymore as far as this earth. We don't know where this, this life is going, or what our life is actually gonna be like in 2021. I'm hearing there's another pandemic hitting okay another virus so 
you guys you just got to protect yourself and you know make the most of living not to go out there blowing money like crazy this is time to get your money caked up to cake up your money and to live beneath your means you know not something that you're gonna go and blow money and not be prepared for disaster situations because this is a this is the time that we need to start thinking about emergencies emergency situations being ready for an emergency stocking up for an emergency and living beneath our means I don't understand where people how people are in the mall shopping like crazy and I can understand if you got small children you know you want them to have a good Christmas but honestly I already told my family this year is not gonna be the same okay God has opened my eyes to so much that we have to be more grateful for than buying gifts things that we really don't need because honestly they get stuff throughout the year and we are not in need of anything okay maybe little nice things to have here and there but not to be the malls going crazy so they will get their gifts but the main focus this year for Christmas is family is loving each other is unity it's appreciating each other and being grateful for the fact that if you do have family being grateful that you have family okay because there's so many of us that don't have family that don't have a support system don't have children and you're by yourself you can still be grateful that you still have your life you still got your health and yeah there's just so much to really look up to instead of looking down on I know there's a lot of you struggling going through it financially but just know Christmas is not about buying gifts so when you see people out there blowing money like that don't feel any which way you got your family and if you got your health you are still rich you're still wealthy okay but I just wanted to leave out with some positivity because I said this was a crazy rant video on how my 2020 went okay but like I said there has been some losses but there's been so much gain and there's just been a lot of confusions but I truly believe there's a lot of clarity and focus coming for 2021 all right so you guys you know stay tuned for some story times I got some story times getting ready to pop up on this channel also stay tuned for my video uploads on this channel for narcissists and it, how to recognize if you're in a narcissistic relationship as well as my experience dealing with a narcissist as well as an update video on certain things that took place behind the scenes that I didn't do a video on because of YouTube demonetizing my doggone videos but some updates you know and basically even if they demonetize it it's about helping the next person because there's a lot of you still going through these type of toxic relationships and it's time to get out of it so I will be doing more on those and yeah so just look out for those videos look out for some story times and let me know down below what you want to see on this on this channel if you got any products that you want me to review and you're a brand and you want to reach out to me look down in the description bar I'll have all my information I will do reviews on your products so you guys thank you so much for coming back and joining me on this video and don't forget to like share and hit that subscribe button okay hit and turn on that notification bell so you will not miss any more videos I got so many good things getting ready to pop up on this channel and uh, I don't want you to miss out all right so yes you guys Thank you for joining me, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye. Welcome, YouTube family. This is the Velvet Locks introducing to you my new channel. And this channel is called Velvet Vlogs. On this channel, you will see hair videos, skincare videos, as well as family vlogs, okay? So check it out. Go down below, click those links, and subscribe as well as turn on your notification bell. And I will see you there. Thank you.